Mance, a 3-1 defeat at Darlington to start off the season. Pick the bones out of that one for me, please. Um, I think uh, what you're looking at is you're probably looking at a lot of naivety. Um, you get back into the game 1-1. Having fairly dominated the first half, okay, they had a couple of snap chances. We got into brilliant areas, um, didn't capitalise on it. We didn't work the keeper at all. And then obviously you get you go one nil down. I'm not even. Do you know what? I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to start on the referee because I'll end up getting in trouble. I won't get a phone call from the referees associated to say, you know what? Yeah, he did mess up. Um, but you know the first one, it beggars belief to be honest with you. It's clearly two or three fouls in that. Um, but it is what it is, we find ourselves 1-0 down. Character to then come back into the game, get yourself 1-1. Uh, and then a, a moment of, of madness uh, from Tommy. I don't know what he's thinking. Um, just said it to him in there. I can't, I had, a, a, I had 10 months of naivety last year. I'm not going to tolerate that again. Um, it's a stupid sending off. And I think if we have 11 players on the pitch, obviously the, the game and the complexion changes. I think we, we dominate and potentially could go and go, go and win it. You know, nothing's ever given, but to find yourself you know, going down to 10 men for 40 odd minutes or whatever it was, you know, we're still in the game, we're keeping the ball well. And then, you know, the, the pressure tied when you, when you don't, like we did, retain the ball up, up top when you're, when, you're, when you're down to 10 men, then all of a sudden the pressure comes and then it did, ball into the box. Nice, and he gets in around the back and on the six-yard line and nods it in. So, as I say, there's loads of different, there's loads of bits and pieces that you can take out of it. As I said, you know, I think we all want to get off to a, a fantastic start. Us more, more so than ever, but we showed a lot of naivety today. Um, ultimately, which is which has cost us the game. And listen, as I said, we can go on to referees, but I'll end up getting in trouble with it. But um, as I say, I don't think he helped Matt as much either today. And it's a difficult result to take, but were there any positives you can take and build on? You know, the players kept going right until the end, despite the scoreline and the situation. No, listen, their, their work rate and their endeavour, that's why they're at the football club, because they want to do well and they want to keep getting into, back into games. Um, you know, we had a spell, obviously, when we went down to 10, we, we dominated the ball more, we moved it around. Um, it was the first real opportunity we went, to, we went wide, wide wing back to the other wing back and then obviously Leds pops up and scores a goal which is good. Um, after that we didn't really, you know, especially with going down to 10, we didn't really cut them apart. We didn't give them anything to really you know, think about. As I said, there's, there's loads to take away from it. Uh, I also think it's a humbling to be honest with you. I think for us as players but also I think everyone in and around the club, listen we've had a really good pre-season, we've come to our first competitive game and you know, we took a we took a hell of a whack and we got knocked out. So we need to pick ourselves we need to pick ourselves back up. We've got a massive game, obviously next Saturday at home, um, in which we've got to respond to it. You know, we're we're now down probably one of the best midfield players in the league. So we're going to have to look at that situation as well.